All right. So we have a, a question here from Juliet. This may win the award for the longest question uh, that's ever been submitted. It takes up one and a half pages, single space printed out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of creative editing. because there's a very good question in here. We just maybe will uh, excise some of the details. So Juliet is asking about mornings. She says, I want to ask you for help with mornings. I find it easy to stick to my time blocks and to have a productive and focused day once I start work. However, at least 50% of the time, I don't start work on time. Now, she goes on. This is where I'm going to uh, excise or elide some of the details. There's reasons for this. Uh, number one, insomnia, which I get because I have to some degree. Uh, and two, there's a, a fibromyalgia issue. that uh, The details here are complicated, but it has a real impact on the morning as well. So it's just very hard. She has a schedule that has a lot of things in the morning, meditation, yoga, running, that's supposed to have her working by 9.30. 50% of the time, she doesn't get there. So then she goes on, if we, if we skip past there, um, she goes on and says, I think you'll say, Juliet, at some point, you've got to be a professional and professionals show up to work on time. This is, of course, irrefutable, and it's what I need to do, but I thought this would still be a useful question to ask because I can't believe I'm the only homeworker out there who struggles with mornings. Am I, though? Uh, no, Juliet, look, I'm often slow to start in the mornings. You know, I'm not great with mornings. I'm not a morning person. I usually am upset by how late I actually get going with work in the mornings, uh, exactly like you described. And I don't really have the same really legitimate reasons you have to, to justify why I have a hard time getting getting ready in the morning. You know, so some things are fixed. We get up, uh, I walk my older two boys to the bus stop, like, you know, I got to get them ready, which, by the way, is an impossible task. I, it's, it is crazy. Can I just say, as, as an aside, have you ever tried in a 20-minute period at 7 a.m. in the morning to get an 8-year-old an and a 6-year-old ready to go to school? You would think that I came downstairs and said, boys, I'm sorry, I need a, 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 a working low-wattage nuclear fission reaction put together uh, by 7.20. You, you would think that's what I basically asked, that you need to go find some uranium and a high capacity welding arc torch and build a nuclear fission reaction. It basically, I might as well be asking that. So what I've started doing, and, and Juliet, I'm sorry to go off on the side here, but this is just my life right now. What I've been doing then is we've been structuring my wife and I more and more every step of how they get ready. Because if we leave them any room, they literally freeze. They literally freeze. You'll, you'll come back. I could light I could light the items on the table around them on fire. And if we left them alone without instructions, they would just sit there with the fire spreading around them. They just won't move, right? So we, everything, do this, then do that, then do this. Um, the other morning, I think I had everything down. I literally put a timer on the table while they're eating breakfast so they can see you got to eat because when that timer is up, we got to move on. Like you can't just literally freeze for 20 minutes. And I had it all worked out down to the very last thing, which was like, okay, you've, they've already, uh, we make them pack their stuff ahead of time, put everything, your jackets, everything by the door before you sit down and eat breakfast. It's all there. Had a timer during breakfast. So you have to eat because the day before my six-year-old just sat there and then after 20 minutes hadn't eaten the thing. All right, everything's figured out. We're on time. Go put on your stuff. I go up, uh, change, come down to take them out there. They had basically just frozen in the, in the room next to there. They went to their stuff and just sat there so frustrating. Anyways, that's all a tangent, Julie, Juliet. So I do that. I take my boys to school. That's, that's fine. That's not on me. That's hard. And then I just can't, I can't get ready fast. I can't do it. My wife makes fun of me. I, I don't know how normal people do this. Normal people, my wife will be downstairs. We'll be talking. And she's like, oh, I got to get ready to take the, the kids to school. I got to, you know, grab a shower, etc. Four minutes later, She's downstairs, showered, fully dressed, taking the kids out the door. This takes me 35 minutes. And I, I don't know why it takes me so... It just eats up my time. Somehow getting ready just eats up all of my time. And I'm ranting a little bit about this because I'm so frustrated with myself. that You would think taking a shower, shaving, putting on clothes should take about 15 minutes. It takes me 35 minutes. I, I've even tried. I've literally tried to break it down step by step. Like, how can I squeeze time out of it? I've put on timers. It just takes me forever. It takes me five times the time it takes my wife. I'm not doing anything special. I just... 
I don't know. Maybe I get stuck thinking in the shower. That's probably true. Uh, I don't know what's going on. But more often than not, it'll be 9 or 9.30, and I really haven't done anything yet, and I have to leave by 10, a little after 10, to get to campus to teach, and so there's not enough time to get anything done. And morning after morning, I'm thinking, look, I've been up since 6, and here I am driving to work at 10. I haven't done anything. All of this leads to, Juliet, you're not a morning person. It's fine. Have a later, put a big buffer into your morning and have a later start. You know, and if you get started early, then you can end early. It's not a big deal, but just start your day at 1030 or something. I mean, I basically do that a lot of days anyway. So anyways, I thought in honor of the longest question that ever been submitted, I would give an unnecessarily long answer, but there we go. Uh, my mornings are an entire source of frustration for me, Juliet. So welcome to the club. We had jackets made. We'll send you one.